Now it's time to make our character controller move when our run animation is activated. And the method we're going to be using is basically to have the W button play the run animation and then have that trigger the character controller to move forward. The good thing with having a system like this is that we can use the frame properties of our armature's animation to basically dictate how fast the character should move. But before you do that, if you haven't followed the previous tutorials in how to run animation, make sure that you have a frame property for it. And the way to do that is to basically make a property and set this to an integer so that we can control what happens at any given frame of our animation. We're going to be adding a property sensor, get the idle to run property, change equal to interval. If the frame is between one and seven, your character hasn't really moved from this spot. They've only just crouched it down to get ready to move. But then when the character launches off, you want the movement to start there. So my launch begins at frame seven and ends at frame 27. So I'm going to have the minimum be seven and the maximum be frame 27. Then my actuators, I'm going to go get a message actuator. I'm going to name the subject launch and in the actuator, I'm going to make it send the message to my character controller. I'm going to wire these up. Once the W key is pressed, it sends a message to the character controller telling it to go into state 2. Now in state 2 of our character controller, once the launch part of our idle to run animation is playing, we're going to have our character controller shoot forward. Add a message sensor and then copy the launch message over to the message sensor. Get a motion actuator, wire these up. And for the motion, we're going to be changing the location. As you can see here, we want our character to be moving in the negative Y axis. This is going to take a little bit of trial and error. So I've gone ahead and done my trial and error until it's given me a result that I pretty much one and now you're going to want to do the same for the rest of the idle to run animation and the running animation so that if our idle to run animation is greater than frame 28 which are the frames after the launch part of the animation or our actual run animation is greater than frame one then the run motion for our character controller will be triggered now all you need is just to do the same thing for the stopping part of the animation for the left side of my run to idle animation i'm not really going to need motion for that since my character stops right away however for the right side of my stopping animation my character steps forward a little bit with his left leg, so I'm going to want to have a little bit of motion for that so that that looks natural. Since I've got a frame property for that, yeah, I'm going to add game property. I'm going to name this run to idle r, make this an integer. And then in state one of my armature, I want it so that if the run to idle animation is between one, 30. I wanted to send a message to the character controller basically telling it to move just a little bit forward so that little walk that it does can also have a little bit of movement so it looks natural. And now the next thing we want to do is make our character run in different directions. So to do that what we're going to do is select our camera look system, snap our cursor to the center of it, go into top view mode and then add an empty, make this a plane axis and then move this in front of our character around about here. Then parent this empty to the camera look system. Go into our character controller's larger bricks and press state 2. I'm going to Add an actuator, edit object, track to and then for our object, I'm going to go face front. I'm going to name this face front and change the track axis to negative Y. And now to get our character running in all directions with the WASD keys, we're going to want to have this system. But let's just say if we press A, which is left, we want our character to be facing the left direction, which means we need another MT for it to track to so that the character can face its left. And we're also going to want to have that for the right side and for the back side and also the in-betweens for the diagonals. Once you've successfully done that, go ahead and name all the MTs so they have face front, face right, face left, face back left go into your character's armature and now we're going to want to have keyboard sensors for all the other directions link these all up together and then change this controller to an or and for the keyboard sensor where the w key is not pressed hit the all keys instead and the state one of the character's armature for the keyboard sensor telling the armature to go into state two connect all the other directions to it and then change and to or so in state two of your character armature go and get a message actuator eight of them to be precise go ahead and name these appropriately so this is going to be face front this is going to be face left this one's going to be face right and after you've done all that connect the keyboard sensors up to the message actuators. Get the message actuators to send messages over to the character controller, basically telling it to face front, face left, face right, go into the character controller, go into state two. Now we're gonna have the messages sent from the character armature over to the character controller to have the character controller face each one of these MTs. And the key in the direction of the MT is being pressed. Make eight message sensors. Have these receive each one of the messages that we sent over from the character armature. Go ahead and make seven more edit object actuators with the track two and for each one make them track each one of the MTs that match to the direction that you want it to face then connect them up and that should be all you need so if you press W the character runs forward if you press A the character runs left if you press D the character runs right if you press S the character runs backwards and also I've got the in-betweens as well like if I'm pressing W and A W and D S and A and S and D and this is pretty much the end of this tutorial because now you have the character movement down